Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech and we are back with another video and another name. A few weeks ago I showed you guys how you can record your Android screen using a free app called Mobizen. Now for those of you who are still looking for other options, today I'm going to show you how to screen record with another free app called AZ Screen Recorder, which works on devices running Android 5.0 and up. And of course, no rooting is required. Now before we get into that, I have just a quick little message for my subscribers and viewers, but if you would like to skip straight to the tutorial, just click on the link on screen. As for the rest of you, thanks for listening in advance. So last week I made a video informing you guys that the channel name will be changing and I actually set up a poll on G+, asking you what you thought about the whole situation. I'm really happy to say that I got a lot of support from you guys, not only in the poll, but in the comments as well, where you really helped me a lot in reaching a final decision. Thanks to your feedback and support, I'm glad to confirm that the rebranding process has been a total success, and as of this week, we continue making awesome content here on YouTube under the name CHM Tech. So once again, huge thanks to all you guys and gals that have been supporting the channel all this time. It's really awesome having you on board, and I truly hope that you intend to stick around for a long, long time. I know I do. Okay, back to the AZ Screen Recorder. So the app can be downloaded for free on the Google Play Store, and this free version will offer you practically everything you need in order to record your Android screen without any brand logos or recording restrictions. You can also make an in-app purchase if you want the premium version, but in this video, we're gonna stick to the free one. When you run the recorder, a little red control circle will appear on your screen, which you can drag around and place it wherever you want. When you tap on this floating button, it will open up four different options. Settings, the record option, the output folder, and the hide button. Now before you actually start recording, you're going to want to adjust the settings for the type of quality you want to get. So when you open up the settings menu, up top you'll see the control options. If you tap on encoder, you can set your encoding options to either advanced or default. Have in mind that advanced encoding should give you better quality, but for some devices it actually might cause stopping or lag. So if you see that your device can't handle the advanced option, go for default encoding which should give you a more stable experience. Now underneath encoder, you'll see the magic button option, which is a premium option that you have to pay for, so for this video, we're gonna skip that. Back to the main settings menu. Stop options allow you to predetermine how you want to end your recordings. By default, you stop recording by pulling down the Android notification menu, which we will see a bit later, but if you prefer, you can actually stop it differently. The show red blinking dot allows you to tap to record and double tap to stop recording. Stop on screen off allows you to stop the recording by locking your screen. Stop on shake uses your device's sensors to stop the recording process when you shake your device. And finally, you have the option to enable a time limit, which basically stops the recording process when the amount of time you set runs out. Moving on to the video configuration options. First off, you can set your resolution, which ranges from 240p all the way to 1080p Full HD. Beneath that, you can set how many frames per second you want the app to capture, and the settings range from 24 all the way to 60 frames per second. You can also adjust the bitrate by going for a fixed value, or leaving it on auto, which is what I'm gonna do. Orientation allows you to select whether you want to record in landscape or portrait mode, or you can select the auto option, which I find to be the best option. And finally, the time-lapse option allows you to create videos running one and a half, two or three times the normal speed, or two thirds, one half or one third the normal speed. Of course, if you want normal speed, you can simply leave this option disabled. Under audio configuration, we don't really have much options as we can only enable or disable audio recording from our microphone. Moving on to the overlay information. First off, AZ Screen Recorder allows you to place your own text and logo on your recording. This option basically allows you to enter your text, change its font, color, size, and position. And you can also put a logo on screen. You can select an image from your gallery, or you can simply use the default Android one. 
When it comes to overlay options, one more thing we will mention are the touch animations that you can get by enabling this option right here. As for camera options, again, that's something that's included only in the premium version. Under timer options, you can choose whether you want a recording timer to show or not, and you can also enable, disable, and adjust the countdown sequence before the start of the recording process. Finally, you have your option to set the output directory, which I'm going to leave as it is. Once you have all your settings down, you can start recording. To do that, you simply want to tap on the red record button, and you're good to go. How you stop recording will depend on the option you selected in the stop recording settings. Since I left mine on default to stop recording, I'm simply going to pull down my Android notification menu and hit stop. One more thing worth mentioning is that the app also has its own video editing tool that you can upgrade by downloading a plugin, but the editing options are very limited so you'll probably want to do your editing using some other program or app that gives you much more options. But anyway, you guys, that would be all for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you found the video helpful or simply enjoyed watching it, please leave a like and share the video with anyone you think might find it interesting. For more content, be sure to subscribe, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.